Good morning, everybody. It's Risa from Hudson Valley Vintage. Welcome, welcome. This is our first ever uh, Friday morning tutorial. We're gonna try to do this every Friday and um, we're calling it Get Your Paint On. We're gonna be doing little projects on Friday mornings. Um, our first project is going to be to take a, an empty redesign with Prima tube and we're going to um, upcycle it. So I have this big um, stash of transfers and stuff and you know, most of them, some of them are fairly large, but most of them, I mean, are really scrap. And you know, I'm always telling you guys, don't throw any of the transfer scraps away because they're great to reuse. It's gonna be really fun. You could use this for so many things. I got the idea from somebody else on a redesign with Prima tutorial, and she was redoing them to use for um, shower gifts, for baby gifts, so. All right, so let's get started. So this is um, French eggshell. This is fusion. So I'm gonna just start my first coat of paint Look how, look how that covers. I don't know what it is about. So this is like a heavy, heavy, very stiff cardboard. And it's, I guess it's got paper over it. I don't really know what, th what it is, but it's very durable and it takes the paint really well. Okay, so look how quickly, this is my first coat already and it's just covered perfectly. I'm gonna just put this aside. And okay, so I painted this one yesterday. I did two coats. This is the same color, French eggshell. So um, before we start applying our transfers, what I'm gonna do is do a little stenciling on it. So, um, I love my Paint Couture um, metallics, so that's what we're gonna use. So um, the Paint Couture copper and other metallics, there's a whole bunch of metallics, are super, super highly pigmented. So what you wanna do with these is um, shake it well. Because this is, this is really super durable paint and has a built-in top coat, sometimes it's hard to open. So I'll show you what I do. I just smash it. It kind of breaks the seal. I know that some people cringe when I do that, including Kevin, but he's not here today. So I can do whatever I want. We can do whatever we want. You hear me? Whatever we want. Okay. So you're noticing that I'm stirring even though I shook it. And you want to do that with the Paint Couture Metallics because they are super, super highly pigmented. So I am using this stick and style stencil from Redesign with Prima. It is a really great product. I love using these. It comes in a roll and the hardest part about using it is finding out where you left off. I'm just gonna do this on either end and I'm gonna lay it on my tube and just roll it around and then I'm gonna cut it. So I have my tape, I've adhered it to my tube all the way around and I just wanna go around and, and rub it on a little bit. Some people call this burnishing. I think that's a fancy way of saying rubbing it on. Normally I would use a stencil brush, but because this is like a pattern, because it is sticky all the way around and it adheres really good, 
I'm going to use a regular brush. This is just a cheapy craft brush. And I'm going to lightly um, paint on my copper. And again, this is Paint Couture, super, super pigmented. Okay, so there we go. Doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look great? So even though these are technically disposable, I, I like to reuse them. So I'm gonna reuse it right here on the same piece, just on top. I'm only doing the edges. Oh, there we go. I was in the wrong spot altogether. Okay. So I've taken a little bit more of the blue paint off. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. So I've taken a little bit more of the blue paint off right there, but I don't really care. I'm going to um, go over that with a transfer. Okay. So, um... What I like to do before I pull these two apart is I like to figure out where I'm going to put my piece. So I'm going to pull these apart and I'm just going to, let's see, I'm just going to put him on there and rub him on. And then I'm going to take my transfer tool. Okay, so I'm just rubbing this with my transfer stick. You want to use a little elbow grease. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I want you guys to be able to see this. So now I'm just going to pull this back. And you're going to find that the transfers adhere really well to a, a painted surface. Doesn't that look pretty? Pretty. Okay. So I'm going to place him on the other side down here. Okay. And, and I think this is dry enough to lay down now. And as I said before, you want to wait until you actually know where you're putting your transfer before you pull the two pieces apart. And I'm using scraps. So these are scraps from other transfers that I have used before. And um, so there we go so far. Okay, let's, let's put a butterfly in there. Okay, I'll put this butterfly there. I can't even tell you how easily um, this is adhering. It's, it's really amazing. There we 
go. We're getting there. I think we need some flowers now. Okay, I think it fits really well right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I always play with them to make sure I know where I'm putting them. I don't just slap them on because that's how you're gonna um, ruin them. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, um, you can layer these over stencils, you can layer them over other transfers, you can do anything. Good, we got it all. So there's that, I don't know how well you can see that but it is coming along. Okay, and I'm gonna put this on. And I have a spot up here that I pulled some of the paint off, so I'm gonna go right over it. With my flower. Big improvement. As I said before, you want to pull the um, plastic up nice and slow. So there we go. It's looking good. Ooh, that fits perfectly in there. There we go. So I like to use these because they have a nice little, very thin um, edge and I can get right under the um, transfer. And right there, it's not covered. It's not completely gone down. You always want to pull your transfer off slowly. There we go. Okay, there we go. And that fit in there really nice. Let's see. Okay, I have a little bit of a mess over here, so I wanna cover it and I'm gonna use this. There we go. So, like I said, you want to um, take your transfer, figure out where you're putting it first cut it and do anything, all the things you need to do with it before you pull the two pieces apart and then you wanna do it slowly. Occasionally, you'll get one that sticks to the white part, which it's not supposed to, but it can happen. So you wanna be a little bit careful with it. And I think it worked, sort of, it's close enough. So I'm going to start pulling this up. I want to do it nice and slow. And I have a couple of bubbles, so I'm just using my finger to um, smooth them out. I have a little leaf that's pulling up here. Like, how do you like that? I like that, okay. Where do I have a spot? I think I'm getting, I don't wanna overdo it, but I think I may have Maybe a couple of little flowers in here. Let's see. 
I'm just gonna, this is just a little flourish that I'm just gonna stick in here because I need something. It's just a little flourish. see that there's that so let's see where do we have like an obvious maybe right here let's see if I have something small okay let's see where's this flower going I'll put it right here just kind of hanging So I've got this little, where is he? This little flower I just put on. Okay, so this I'm going to put right here. So if your transfer went on well, I hope you can see this, as, as the clear paper comes up, it's going to be completely clear. If the transfer still stuck to it, it's, it won't be clear. There you go. So I think we're done, guys. So we started with this. This, was, this is a regular transfer tube. And we're finishing with this. Isn't that pretty? I mean, and they come with a top and a bottom. So you could put the top on. Put the bottom on. Of course, you want to put your present in there. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, the colors, just quickly, I used Fusion Mineral Paint in French Eggshell for the blue. I, in the copper, it's Paint Couture's Copper Metallic, which is amazing. And um, I just love it. The transfers are from Redesign with Prima, as is the Stick and Style stencil. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you had fun. I'm having, this is so much fun. Have a great weekend and happy Valentine's Day, guys. Take care.